The Seminole High School Seminoles capped off a perfect football season with a state championship. I talked with head coach Eric Lodge, who was just named the Florida Dairy Farmers Football Coach of the Year. You guys won the state championship a little less than a month ago. Are you still on cloud nine over it? Kind of left feeling like what's next, you know. Um, you know, usually <clears throat> this is the first time I've ever won the state championship. So at the end of the year, you lose in the playoffs and there's some finality to it. and You know, it's over. And, uh, you know, just to keep on winning and never lose, you know, during the season, you're like, OK, well, who do we play now? And uh, so, you know, it's uh, it's surreal. You know, it, it kind of sinks in a little bit more and more here, you know, as the days go by. But uh, it's a great feeling. I mean, how special was it with that group after all you guys had been through? We've got special kids, you know, in the community and in the school. And, uh, you know, they've persevered through through so much, um, you know, just in the time that I've been there for the five years I've been there. But, you know, especially this year. You know, there are so many things, you know, tragic things that happen, um, you know, not even counting COVID. And, uh, you know, these guys, they just they focused harder and harder every every time something popped up and, you know, got the job done. It was really a special group of kids. Seemed like Seminole had been building up to this point, but to win a state championship is just a complete another level. When did you know that? that this team could be capable. We felt like we've had the talent, um, you know, to win at least, you know, a couple times out of the last five years that I've been there. And, you know, whenever you're playing really good teams, um, you know, sometimes plays go one way or the other, and that is the difference in the game, you know? So I hit home to these guys, you know, hey, stay focused worry about what's in front of you and get better in practice every day and do what you're coached to do and it'll all work out. And, uh, you know, this team responded to that message a lot better than in years past. What was the leadership on the field like? You had some great seniors on this team. We've got a lot of leaders on defense that, you know, they're lead by example kids. Um, they're not the, the loudest rah-rah guys, but, you know, they put their head down and, and they just go out and get the job done and kind of show their teammates how to do it, you know, by example. And on offense, you know, we replaced everybody but our quarterback. Um, and, you know, the leadership of, of Timmy McLean, our quarterback, you know, he's, he's mature beyond his years. And, uh, you know, for, for a 17, 18-year-old kid to step up and, and lead a, a group of his peers, you know, especially peers that have never done it before, um, you know, I think that says, you know, speaks the world about him and, and what kind of kid that he is. You know, here you are in your first year coaching Seminole and you have to lead them through a season of COVID. How challenging was it? How nerve wracking was it throughout this season? One thing that kind of leveled the playing field was no matter if it was your first year coaching or your 41st year coaching, um, everybody was was experiencing COVID together for the first time. And, uh, you know, I told all the players that, you know, the team that can embrace the chaos and roll with the punches the best, you know, those are the those are going to be the teams that are left standing at the end. And, uh, you know, they overcame, you know, everything and all the adaptations and changes to to what we normally do. And, uh, you know, the coaching staff was huge and, you know, we had to get a little bit creative, but, you know, we got the job done. Why did you want to go into coaching? My coaches when I was growing up were, were the male role models in my life. And, uh, you know, as, when I was a kid and, you know, I was kind of getting into college, trying to figure out what I wanted to do, you know, those were the guys that I really looked up to and had an impact on me. And, you know, I said, that's what I want to do. And, uh, you know, it, it means a lot to me that, you know, I can come to a place as special as Seminole and work with our guys and, you know, I love them to death and, you know, I wouldn't want to be doing anything else. What do you think winning the state championship has done or can do for those kids that are on your team? I mean, I, I hope that they learn that if they go out and they do things the right way, um, you know, in the end, it works out for you. And, uh, you know, I, said, I tell them football is a game where you get what you deserve. And, uh, you know, we went out and worked our, our tails off and stayed focused and, you know, I felt like we got what we deserved. 
How do you build or continue to build the program? We think we have a pretty good recipe for, for success. We've got some really great talent there. And, uh, you know, we, we, we're never going to put the uh, cart before the horse, um, so to speak. So we're going to go out and tomorrow we'll be in the weight room getting better. And, you know, we're just going to kind of go and, and attack each day like, you know, like it's our last. And I think if we continue to do that and stay focused on the task at hand, we'll have success for years to come. Our thanks to Eric Lodge for his time and congratulations to the Seminoles.